it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here back again with another video and today we're gonna be doing a little something different um, Today we're gonna be working on a mod uh, Let me minimize this here. We're gonna be working on a truck here uh, You guys have probably seen it on my Facebook page or on my Instagram um, but here it is let me just get everything uh, visible again um, I got to bring my rims up all right there we go so here it is it is the uh, Dodge Ram 3500 Cummins Dually uh, that I am working on. I found this on some 3D model site. I can't remember what it was, but uh, I found it on there and decided to do some work to it. So I've just about got it finished here in Blender. Uh, I just have a few things left on it and then it will be done. So let's kind of show you guys it here. Uh, you can see I got all the chrome separated out, all the chrome pieces here. Uh, everything is baked as well, except for the cab. Uh, the cab, I need to separate the interior out of it yet, and then I can bake those two things, and then it will be done. Uh, you can see I got the Ram 3500 heavy-duty decal there. Uh, the Cummins decal I'll be adding later. Um... I'll be adding that in Giants Editor. I tried getting it to work the same as I did with this one, uh, where I just took an image. Um, I took this image from Google and uh, just put everything on it. Uh, all the letters are just in a small, tiny spot here on the A because of the goofiness in this thing here, and then the rest of it spread over the 3500 decal uh, as you can see uh, I tried doing that with the Cummins decal as well but it did not work uh, like it was supposed to because of the way that this the C is shaped so uh, it's white right now uh, and the cab will be as well but what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to learn how to add the um, color picker or whatever you want to call it uh, color select on this truck so that way when you go to buy it in game you can choose what color you want it to be uh, this is going to be a future release uh, I will release this I don't know when exactly but it will be released uh, there will be a couple changes on it when I release it uh, it won't have the North Dakota license plate on it I don't think Maybe it will, I don't know. Um, I did go in and add a North Dakota license plate to it. I need to go and put in a sticker on there. I haven't done that yet. Um, you can see I got the bed liner here. It's going to have a Linex bed liner in it. And um, yeah. Interior, I'm going to look at. A couple of trucks that are already in game for farm sim and see if I can steal the interior interior out of that and fit it into this don't know for sure yet but uh, I'm gonna check it out so what I need to do right now is if I export this go 3500.i3d oh shoot I need to re-export that because I need to do selected items only. Alright, so we need to edit this here. I need to get rid of all this stuff. Uh, 
Actually, no, we don't. I'll wait with that. Uh, it's not that important right now. But if we go in here, uh, let's see, is any of this see-through? Nope. Uh, the windows are a little bit, but uh, that's no biggie. But we are going to do some things in... Oh, what happened there? Hmm. I don't know. Um, I'll just show you guys what the chrome will look like here. Cube map. Textures, and we want cube map two. So you can see we got a nice shiny, chromed up uh, piece. Oh, that's right. All my rims were baked on the same texture. So you can see we got a nice chrome here. Uh, this is following Serious Mods' chrome tutorial. And yeah, so we're not going to save that. We're going to actually delete that. Okay. We are still recording. Excuse me one second. Sorry about that. I thought I had to sneeze. Felt like it. Okay, so now what we're going to go through and do is we're going to add the solidify modifier to everything because that will help with its uh, see-throughness solidify 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 I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. I need cab lights. Wow. It's a big change there. So, we're just going to apply this to everything here. Wow, that made a big difference. So, we'll go through and solidify everything, and then we'll go back and add edge split. Or no, no we won't. I already did edge split. I forgot about that. Solidify... So yeah, we'll just go through and uh, add the solidify modifier to everything, and then, um, wow, see like there, that made a big difference, made it, uh, made it much thicker and, yeah, much nicer. So let's see what it does to our license plates here. No visible difference. Some things don't have a visible difference, but other things do. Like the windows here, that uh, just made a difference. And last thing is our wipers. And there we go. Alright, so, oh, no, I need to go back and do the rims. I haven't done that yet. So we'll just kind of look here at this. I am going to have to go back and rebake everything, aren't I? Yes. 
So I need to do some rebaking now, which is okay. It's like you can see our door handle here. Made uh, some changes on that. So, yeah, uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now, though. There we go. All right, so let's work on this cab here. So you can see we have just the cab left. And what I want to do is I want to get this interior out of it. And the mod that I'm thinking of using is this guy right here. Let's just see if I can select just the interior on it. Maybe not. Okay, I'm going to select the truck. Let's see. Ah, man. This interior is all one. Um, let's look. Interior material. Okay. Maybe I'll try and bake onto this texture. But just separate out the thing. Details. Interior. Here we go. Interior. Wheel. Right. That's all I need, I think. Let's find out again. Um, where is it? So yes, we need steering wheel, truck, here we go, body, oh, this isn't the exact same as it was in 13, sadly, um, let's see, chrome material, where's the Cummins logo at, okay, Cummins logo is not in there. So let's find the Cummins logo. Um, I'm not seeing the Cummins logo on here. Not there either. So we need this and this for sure. And then we'll have to try and find the. Um, we'll have to try to find the Cummins decal here. Um. Because it's got to be here somewhere. That's the mod flap. That's the bed. That's that. Ah. Engine bay, maybe. Because I see... Oh, no. Oh, that's the Cummins for there. Okay. Okay. 
Maybe it's here somewhere else. I don't know, I'll have to find that later on. But uh, here we have our interior texture now. So it'll have that same exact interior. So let's get to work separating this. Nope, I don't want to move it. I want to separate it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into wireframe mode. And go like this. Um, and I actually want to bring this back up. want to see okay it looks like they did use that section as well so let's leave that up for now okay so separate that and that is steering wheel so let's get the cab out of the way and bring this guy up we're going to remove doubles recalculate the faces we're going to add the solidify and edge split modifiers there we go now we're going to go here we're going to open the steering wheel texture Okay, so we need these. Unwrap. I need to go into texture mode as well. So we need to flip this around. And then downsize it. So now we'll just kind of have to do some manual moving here. go now we have our full center so now we're going to select that okay, and I have that the right way I don't know what I did there, but whatever it was, it wasn't good. Hmm, that's way too big. Let's unwrap that again. There we go. So 
So we need to rotate this to fit. That'll work. Then we will unwrap that. Okay, and that's upside down again. Perfect. So now we'll select everything but these. Well, actually, no. I need to select around here. Need to select all of our steering wheel here. Oops, not that though. So this should come right off, yep, except there is another section in there. I'm just going to kind of go like this, and then I will go back and deselect whatever we're not supposed to have which does not look like much perfect absolutely perfect so we'll go back into texture mode and we'll unwrap that oh boy so then Hmm. So this is part of that circle. So in reality, all of these need to actually get um, put in the same position. More or less the same position. Alright, and I think that'll work. So now... I just deselect this front. Well, let's go like this. We'll just deselect everything we don't need. And the rest of it will all have the same texture. We 
we'll unwrap all that and scale it down to fit right like that. And there we have our steering wheel. Actually, that's kind of a bad spot for it. Let's put it down there. See how that looks. Much better. Looks like I forgot a piece in here. Yes, I did. That or else I took too much. But no, I'm pretty sure that this needs to go with the steering wheel. Now we have to deselect, <coughs> actually no, there we go, and then just select those two as well. And we'll just scale that down and bring it on down here in the corner. And there we have our steering wheel. So now if we go back into edit mode. Yep, everything looks pretty good. Um, I could do some fine tuning here though. And I will. Actually no, I won't. Eh. Let's go like this instead. Because there's a good portion of this that needs to get moved. Okay, and then these two need to go over this way a little bit and get scaled down just a hair there we go so now we need some of these to go there Much better. Okay. Um, so this thing needs material. And then steering wheel dot DDS. And that is our texture. So now if we go into rendered, we have a steering wheel. Perfect. So that's done. Now we can bring our cab back up. And go back into solid. Now all of this has to come out. Every bit of it pretty much. So you just gotta start someplace, I guess. Start someplace and go. And just kinda roll with it. So yeah, like I said, the interior is 
the doing interiors is my least favorite thing to do. I hate interiors with a passion. They are long and annoying processes to do. And I'm just going to keep recording. You guys will get a nice uh, longer video. It's kind of hard to just kind of break this stuff down into only a half hour. And I'm in no hurry. So by the time you guys are seeing this, I am on the road to Idaho. I am going to a wedding, so, um, yeah, so I'm recording this on, today is Monday, so I am quite a ways ahead, but I am okay with that, and I need to look, does our interior include the doors? It might. I should probably actually look at the model instead. Yes, it does. Okay, so I need to include the doors on that. Doors and... Yes, it does include all that. So it's going to be a RAM... 3500 Cummins with a Longhorn interior. <laughs> Which I suppose it probably wouldn't be too hard to go back and, you know, go in and change it, but crap. I wanted to hit Z, not A. Whoa, and that's a mess. And we'll select this door here. How much of the door does it have? Jeez. Okay, it has up on top here selected as well. also has yes it does have the roof selected so I'm doing good selecting that selected um, we need windowsill there we go Okay, I got a little more 
select up here. Okay. So yeah, my goal is to try and get this truck finished in at least Blender uh, before I go. So at the rate I'm going, shouldn't be a problem as long as I don't run into any issues. Uh, I should have it done. I should be able to have it maybe even in gamed uh, before I go. I do need to add a hitch to it as well. Um, I might take the one off of the LMS Dodge. Use that. Or else maybe model one up or something. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. Don't have to do that quite yet, so I'm not too worried about it. And I think I got all of the seat. Nope. Now I do. Select up this door. too much there. A little too gun ho there. I got a little bit of stuff selected up here that I don't need. Okay, and we're getting close to having this all selected to separate it out. Actually, have just a tad too much selected here. All right, we'll get our bench seat selected. Just about done, thankfully. And okay, we need backsides here.
that stuff up there. And I think that's going to be everything. Let's separate that thing out and check it out. Just check on the inside and make sure that we didn't leave anything that we might need. And it doesn't look like it. Oh, I did here. I missed a couple pieces. That seems to be about it. Um, and it looks like I got a little bit too much selected there. So let's bring this thing up. We'll join that together and rename this to interior. Okay, let's just take a look here and see. So that needs to get separated and go with cab. Otherwise, everything looks pretty good. Um, I think this little bit here actually needs to go, though. Yeah, this little section needs to go. No. I think I need to actually add to that section. Yeah. We need some other stuff here. Yep, that we do. We forgot some pieces here. I think, anyways. Nope, that should do it. So now, we'll go in here, and we will remove doubles, which removed quite a lot. And then recalculate. Um, and then we'll add a material to that, and make that white. Make sure that that's the same as the box. Yes, it is. And then we'll go in and add the solidify modifier and edge split modifier. And there we go. This thing is back to the way it should be. Okay, so now we just have to take out a few things here in the back window. And we need to take out this windshield or the window frame because this will be black instead of white section there can actually probably go like this and I'll just kind of go around it and then just go back and take out whatever I added that shouldn't be there Which 
just like that. Oops, I deselected way too much there. Um, it looks like I got a little something up here that needs to be taken. Maybe not. Maybe it's on the outside. Yep, it is. It's on the outside. I keep hitting V rather than C. Alright, and we got everything that we need. So let's hit P and get that out of there. Back window frame. See if there's any doubles on there, and there is. I'll recalculate those. Add our modifiers to it. Like we got a little goofiness happening there, but that'll go away. Then we need to add material to that, and that will be black. And the interior also needs a material. Okay, so let's get back window frame textured I'll unwrap that and this will be back window frame this needs to be 2048 okay and we'll go here and bake. And that'll just take a second because shoot. I didn't want to do that. Oh well. There we go. There's our back window frame. Right, there's let's switch to texture on this. All right, so that's done. Now we have our cab. So let's just double check that all of our oh, we had some more vertices there. Recalculate that again. That means we also have to go through our modifiers again. Solidify and edge split. Back to normal we go. And let's unwrap that guy. And that's going to take a moment. And I am still recording. Holy smokes, that's a lot of stuff in there. Alright, so let's make this cab. Uh, I know why my other thing did that. I need to rebake that other thing. I forgot to uncheck alpha. That's going to bake up. There we go. Now we got a nice white cab. Cab.png. To open this up. Like that. Okay, let's go back to the back window frame here. So with this, I need to delete that, go like this, go here, edit mode. Now let's call this rear 
window frame like that instead. There we go. Now we'll bake it, and then it'll leave it. Save as image. Rear window frame. And then we'll also rename this to rear. Then we can delete our back window frame picture or image. Okay, so we can get rid of that. And now we need our interior, which is going to be the fun part. So let's go like this. We will remove the doubles, recalculate the faces, solidify, and edge split. And then we need to go here, open textures, interior.dds. Okay, so this guy here, unwrap that. Where is our center console? There it is. How can I get this to fit correctly? Um, that actually looks pretty close. Oh, I know why. That's not actually sitting the right way. Oh, well, yeah, it is. I don't know why it's not working like it's supposed to, but... There we go. That's pretty close. Uh, and this is actually right where it's supposed to be, I think, just about. Very nearly. I need to go unwrap. Oops. Oh, I'm getting too wide with my rotations here. So we'll move that guy to there. This guy over and down to there. That's going there. That's going there. This is going there. That's going there. And that's going there. Perfect. I think. Yes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Unwrap that. Okay. 
going to have this upside down again. Alright, so... Now we need to adjust this guy. That's way too big. So now we'll just kind of scale this up a little bit. Or a lot of bit. <laughs> that needs to come up to there. This needs to go over. Oops. This whole side, not just that. Um. Actually, it looks pretty good. Except, I need all of that to go down. This is the main reason why I hate interiors, uh, if I'm using, like, pre-made textures, because you have to sit and unwrap everything, and just as a long, complicated process. still have too much, huh? I will go with that then. No, this doesn't. No, it doesn't. Hmm. 
Oh, this interior is being a pain. Tell you what, we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this bad boy. in render mode and then I'll close off the video because the interior is going to be a long and boring and annoying process and I do have way too much of the interior selected oh well I do also need to go rebake a few th things on here but not worried about those right now I'll let this uh, render up. My interior being stupid or what? I don't know. So yeah, we uh, we got this thing done now. Just about. I do need to do some more fine tuning on it, but. We'll get it done very soon. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button for me. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and welcome to the channel. Um, make sure to turn on my post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Video schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central Time. Saturdays at noon Central. Be sure to check out down below in the description for links to all my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something from it as well.